you've seen it on a beautiful sunny day. You've seen it with the fog rolling in. Here it is with the fog. <laughs> we had snow last night. It's melting now, but we had probably an inch of snow. That was disappointing. But that's what happens when the ice starts to come down. Fog and sometimes snow. I think we're supposed to get more snow on the weekend too. So there's not a whole lot to show you this morning. Still hear the ocean though. Hi everybody. School run conversation. Showed you the fog this morning is lifted. Well, it lifted for a few minutes and now I think it's back again. So it's just going to be a foggy day. Busy day at my house. Put all the rest of the magnets that I had on the, for the needle minders, put those together. A friend of mine came over and visited for a little bit this morning and helped me with that. That was awesome. Now I'm working on an apron. I'm sewing because, you know, this is what you do two days before a market when you have lots of things to do. You sew up a mark, a, a um, new kind of cross back uh, apron because I wanted something. I don't like having a tin box for your uh, money and such. So I wanted to use the apron and it's a, it's the Pearl Soho apron, cross back apron pattern. And it has some, um, so it's got nice deep, deep pockets. But I had to take a break because I do not understand what I'm supposed to be doing in this part of the in this part of the pattern. And apparently other people have found it confusing because it's um, they had a little note saying that the, on the Pearl Soho website saying that they had revised it and hopefully it would be less confusing. Well, I still find it confusing. So now I'm looking on YouTube for videos to see if anybody can explain to me how to do the pockets. I just don't understand how the pockets are put, are put together. I'm sure it'll be fine. I've sewed it up and ripped it out twice. <laughs> so not the whole apron, just the pocket section. So I'm sure I will figure it out. Working on my sweater, which only sees about two minutes of love or however many minutes of love um, there is when I'm taping a podcast. I laughed somebody, and I'm sorry, I don't remember who, but somebody mentioned that I should put up a sign saying podcast in progress. And I was thinking I should bring my, uh, the clapper that I got at Hollywood Studios, bring that and just click it in all the windows so <laughs> people around me knew what I was doing. <laughs> I don't think anybody at this school knows that I do a podcast. I don't think so. And that's okay with me. I'm comfortable with that. Went out for lunch with my husband. We went to Freshy, the Freshy restaurant. Had some delicious food there. Really tasty. And now I'm trying to decide, isn't the hardest, like, I don't do a formal meal plan. I just make sure that there are enough of certain kinds of meat in the freezer every week. And I mix up which meats we have every day. So we don't eat chicken five days in a row or ground beef five days in a row or whatever. I mix it up. Anyway, I'm thinking about having chicken tonight and I cannot think of a good recipe. I think I'm going to make maple chicken, which is an old cooking light recipe and the kids, I think they all like it. I'm not sure if the youngest one does or not. He's picky. He may not have any, but yeah, it's the joy of uh, being a stay-at-home mom is figuring out meals because I think some days all I do is cook and laundry. <laughs> That's my purpose in life is to cook and do laundry. It's not really true, but there are, you know, you have those days. My friend just drove up in her van, so I'm going to have to stop. I forgot to, that today was Thursday, which means I only have today and tomorrow to get ready for the market. And I'm trying not to have a panic attack about that. Um, anyway, she's here and we always go in to walk in together. So I'm going to say adieu for a little while and hopefully I will catch up with you later on this evening when I am supposed to be finishing my apron and sewing up some more project bags. Chat soon. Bye.
this video is going to come out because I've got it vertical instead of horizontal. So we'll see. This is an apron that I've made. I just finished it. I made it for the market because it has these really nice deep, 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 deep pockets. And I'm going to use that to keep my the money in for a change and for purchases and such in my cell phone and my square. Please ignore the mess in the background. <laughs> there has been more sewing and uh, creating here than there has been cleaning. So it had just in case you're curious, this is a dress, a vintage dress that uh, my, my mother-in-law had. And I'm lucky enough to have several of her dresses from the late 1950s, early 1960s, I think, 60s, 70s. Anyway, these are all handmade dresses. They're just beautiful. And I put them on my dress form so they see the light of day. I also have a mock-up of, this is not, yeah, it's pretty close. It still needs a little bit of tweaking, but this is more or less, the tablecloth is going to be different. I'm going to put a red and white check tablecloth underneath, and I'm not going to have the crochet underneath. It just, it makes it too heavy, and it's extra stuff for me to bring down to the, to Atlantic Place. So that's a mock-up of my table to make sure that I had it the way I wanted it. And I'm happy with my apron. The quiet before the market starts. St. John's Harbor. Beautiful view down here at the market this morning. Well, it will be a market in a couple hours. The famous St. John's Harbor front. And there's Signal Hill with Cabot Tower right there. It is almost quarter to eight in the evening. Uh, I'm watching the boys play a little bit of ball in a local field, um, sports field that is, <laughs> um, the boys including my husband. I had a couple minutes here of peace and quiet to myself so I thought I would add to my three day vlog because when I get home I'm going to compile this and upload it and then go to bed probably. It's been a good day, it's been a long day. Um, well, I mean I was up at six which is when I'm normally up but you know, it was a little bit more exciting going down to a market instead of dropping the kids off at school as I would normally do when I get up on six on a day. So it's, uh, it was a good market. I'm pleased with how I did. Um, I was a little bit tucked away in a, not in a corner, but down kind of a narrow a corridor compared to the rest of the market. So that may have had some small impact on my sales, but I think overall a lot of people came because they had heard of my needle minders or scissors or something like that. So I think people who were interested in cross stitch designing and kits and such were um, were able to find me. So that was great. And uh, I don't know if I'll do another market or not. I can't. The Etsy market. There's another one in the fall. Uh, it happens to be the same weekend as one of my Atlantica weekends, so I won't be able to go. And then there's another one closer to Christmas, and I'm not sure if I'll put the pressure upon myself to do a Christmas market because I'd really like to do some Christmas uh, cross stitch pattern releases, and I'd rather concentrate on that than I'll have the pressure of a market. So we'll see. 
Um, the needle minders, new needle minders are doing really well. I've still got a few left over from the market, so I can add them back up to my Etsy store tomorrow. And I'll be adding a, a couple project bags and a few other things that I had left over from the market I'll do tomorrow and Monday. I'll add onto the Etsy shop. And yeah, so a little bit of housekeeping to tidy up from the market. And uh, I'll, I've included video and pictures of my table. I was pleased with how that turned out. Um, I felt that I was pretty organized in terms of getting things ready and down there. Really glad that I invested in a square, which is one of the card readers so that you, people can pay you by credit card because most people want to pay by credit card. So that worked out really, really well. I think I would recommend that for anybody who's doing a market to invest in a square. They're only $10 and then you get that back in a rebate. So really they're almost free. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a good day. I got lots of, I, I, you know, I was interacting with people, but I did get lots of knitting done today and, uh, on my, on my sweater. That's, let me see if I can turn it around here so you can see the correct side. I am now ready to split for the sleeves which I'm going to do now when I finish this little video. And yeah, so I just wanted to touch base, say hi, I'm still alive, things are going well. And I will catch up with you again tomorrow, which is Sunday and the 12th of May, and it'll be Happy Mother's Day. So good night for now, and <laughs> I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, and it's the 11th of May today, because I know that this is a conglomerate of videos, so I wanted to let you know that it is Saturday, the 11th of May. And I will chat with you soon. Bye.